The Perfect Ten Problem. Welcome to the Perfect Ten, the show where everyone gets ten stars, so everyone's a winner. I'm your perfect host, Romo. Our judges will decide how many stars to give the performers. Each contestant must get a total of ten stars, no more, no less. Now it's time for our first contestant. Here are Richard, Baby Fox, and Littlest Chicken singing "Small, Smaller, Smallest." Small, small, smallest. Small, smaller, smallest. I'm small, you see, but he's smaller than me. This little chick is the smallest of the three. What a performance! First, the parrot gives five stars. Next, Peg and Cat give five stars. So all together, they have ten stars. And now for our next act, the pirates. We're four, four, four jolly pirates. Four jolly pirates are we, especially me. Let's see if the pirates made our judges jolly. The parrot's upset that the pirates left her out, so she only gave them one star. It's up to Peg and Cat to bring the total to ten. Peg and Cat count on their fingers and find that the pirates need nine more stars, and one plus nine equals another perfect ten. And now for our final performance, he's pink, he's proud, he's the pig. If Peg and Cat give even one more star, he'll have eleven. The pig will have more than the other contestants, and they'll be miserable. We have a really big problem. What's this? Those circles on Cat's paws are giving Peg an idea. The circles look like zeros. If they give the pig zero stars, the problem will be solved, since ten plus zero equals ten. Since the parrot gave the pig ten stars, he doesn't need any more. Pig and cat give him zero stars, making another perfect ten. Because pig and cat knew about the number zero and about adding to ten, everybody got a perfect ten. Problem solved. The perfect ten problem.